Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm Samurai TX and I'm Solid Snake. Last time we left off, well, let's just say that um, we did get um, the information from Lada Heart, which led us to the boat rental um, shop and inside the caretaker's shack where we met this old man named Uncle. Yes, his name's Uncle at the moment. We don't know his real name yet. Apparently he's going to be the witness for tomorrow's trial, so we did speak to him, we met his bird Polly, Polly told us to save and whatnot, and well, I still think we need to talk to someone here, we still need to present something for him to help us around here, so Snake, you're going to be the old man because well, since you weren't there, I'm giving you someone to be. Fine. You better not be doing it because I'm old snake. No, nothing like that. Don't worry. Right, let's present the photograph. Now, listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pest we were talking about? Our ring be only. I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought we might. So if presenting the lake photo didn't work and none of these will, um, what if we present our attorney's badge actually? Huh? That's a lawyer's badge. Y yes it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? I hear. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. <sighs> Nick, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on the lake, on this lake the other night. Please help us. A lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done. Wet noodle. Well, if we say we can't promise that, then he won't tell us nothing, so... We'll promise to run the noodle. Okay, we promise. N Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? <laughs> I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. But wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Y yes <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now that's... Now, what was that you wanted to know? <coughs> Speak up, Polly. Hello! Hello! Quack! Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Right. What should we present now? Um, should we present the autopsy report? Nope. He fell asleep. Okay, that's not it. What about this? Oh yeah. I I see this. Y you know something about this, sir? Cave. Yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. <sighs> D Dad, you know something about this? I hope the other night out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. 
Well, I suppose, since you're taking over the shop and all. Oh, so far it's working. What you saw? I forgot the time. It was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang. So I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What did he say? Yep. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time. Promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Huh? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Yep. That kid next door you always used to make him cry. Remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Kumshu. He comes up and tells me to come down to the court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get this much useful information out of this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait. I had one more question. Huh? Polly? Polly? Have we forgotten something? Mark? Don't forget DO6! What? What? Uh, what? Wait, how does this bird know about DO6? Huh? Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DO6! Mark! How the hell does this parrot know about DO6? I'm kind of confused here. What? The DO6 incident? Hey, mister! I, I mean, dad! This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DO6? We have to figure out what that old man is. Oh, what? He locked the door from the other side. <sighs> Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DO6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Oh, that was a revelation, like no other. Can't believe the parrot knows about DL6. Insane that a parrot knows what the DL6 is, but let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department on December 26th. This Police Department Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal! Long time no see! Huh? You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know the boat rental shop down at Wood Lake? Oh, yeah? The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in the court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you... That was supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get the straight answer out of him. I decided that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mr. Lauder hard yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Huh? Sounds suspicious. <sighs> Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DO6 incident. <sighs> that was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think it has something to do with this current case. <sighs> to tell the truth, I don't know much about the DO6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show it to you either, pal. What? However, if you can't convince if you can't convince me somehow that the DO6 incident is related to the case, we 
Well, well, I guess I'd op I consider open to file up. Okay. Well, I guess we can present it to Parrot because the Parrot did say that. What's that, Parrot? The old man on the boat rental shop's Parrot. The Parrot knew about the incident. That is the DO6. Or what? We're not going to read this because, well, we read it already. Kind of weird that the parrot knows about it. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught us that word. Yeah, but how would the old man know about the 06 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to the DO6? Nick, Nick, you'd think he might be? <sighs> I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DO6 incident. Don't dare the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in to find whatever you need. Alright, where to go, Detective Gumshoe? Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. Wow, we're actually in it. Okay. Wow! It's amazingly... It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of old files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DLC stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edra were nine years old. We were almost through the fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of the DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, oh thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go and get the right file. The case summary. Well, first I have to um, get the handle on the main facts like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it! Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days the case is closed? The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? Is this the same district court we're going we're holding the trial right now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and went and all the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edra's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edrith was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Let's get the victim data. Do you have data on the victim, Edrith's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim, here. Found it. Gregory Edrith, 35, defense attorney. Oh wait, sorry, that's Phoenix reading. Gregory Edrith, 35, defense attorney. If he were alive, he'd be 50. He had lost the, that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was on the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could have not been a suicide. The murder weapon a pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I, where have I heard that before? Huh? It sounds like this current case. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused by that too, actually. Only need data on the suspect in here. That would be the guy my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in the DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must 
So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well then, he had to... Well then, he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much he had to... He had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm, where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. I guess I generally know what happened in the DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much, we'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Alright. Right. That's probably all we're able to find here. Now that we left, now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Yeah, that's why I didn't end the video because this was the final part of the investigation, so. Sorry, I have to be quiet for that jingle because I love it! Anyway. When we come back, folks, um, we will be in the court, and Dad will be testifying in the court tomorrow, it looks like. So, until then, until then, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.